So now we know how to create renderings in Wiscom, but what actually Wiscom sees and how does it constructs the rendering? So this is what actually Wiscom sees out of this 3D model. So it only senses the hard edges and that's why you can also upload sketches and render them. So this is what we are going to do. I create a new file and I just drop in some sketches. So I just created a new file and I'm going to just drag and drop some sketches on the canvas. So let's start with the front view of a headphone, for example, and let's prompt something fun like LED, red translucent jelly ear cups headphone concept. And we can use the Viscom general and just click generate. Just like that, it's a very fun illustration. Okay, let's try something different. For example, blue fabric, blue, fabri blue fabric headphone with full influence. And while it constructs the rendering, I'm gonna get another sketch. Just like that, we got some blue fabric as well. I'm going to cancel this one. You can use any kind of sketches with Wiscom. Usually the cleaner sketches are the better, but you can be like very rough and still have a good result. Yep, so for example, I just took a picture of this headphone sketch on my paper and I just imported it into the application and I'm gonna construct a quick rendering out of it. So let's say a blue, dark blue, dark blue JBL headphone. Concept. And let's say it like that, 65% and just hit generate. You can just create this quick sketch and in a matter of seconds, you can have your photorealistic rendering or the rendering in a style that you want in. Yeah, we got the dark blue JBL concept. Let's try one more precise example. So I'm going to leave that dark JBL headphone design concept with this one as well, and just click on generate. Okay, so in this Viscom general mode, we are gonna get some photorealistic renderings out of our sketches, which is very powerful. But if you want to be a bit more rough, we can use the volume render, for example, and hit generate with 100% influence. And now I'm just going to prompt headphone. It gives you a very true and puristic shape representation of your sketch without any textures. So it just focuses on the main volume of your object. And you can make the sketch visible on top of it as well. Okay, so let's try the pastel render mode. I generate with full influence and with the simple prompt of headphone. And it is going to give me a very early ideation vibe of colorful product design style. Just like this. And what I like to do is come to the layers tab and I can duplicate the, not this one, but the original sketch, I can duplicate this and I set it to multiply and you can create a very artistic and very early ideation vibe of rendering this way by showing the sketch on top of the created very vibey rendering. So on top of the same sketch, you can pretty much create different kind of uh, either photorealistic or more like early ideation materials with the help of the render styles. 